Brains Manual and Jack wanted to know how to memorize equations. Now, this video isn't about memorization, like in terms of here's the process, here's the method. It's more about do you need to memorize equations? Because I guess at the end of the day, all memory techniques are simple, which is not the same thing as easy. You know, change some stuff into images, memorize the images, boom, you're good, right? But as you can tell, with equations, they could be really simple, something like this, and it can start to get more complicated. And that's where memorization starts to wane a little bit because, you know, memorizing a complex equation is not really going to help you. So these equations are fairly simple. Quantum mechanics is when things get horrible. And so here you can see all these different terms you need to memorize. And you got to make sure you get them exactly right because if they're off, man you're gonna completely mess up so right here you have three dimension three dimensions right so each one is an individual dimension but here you have three now let me see if i can find the equation right here <laughs> there's schrodinger's equation look at this big equation now let's say like oh here's an equation i want to memorize it with memory techniques you could do it but if you don't understand all these different concepts that are going into this equation it doesn't really matter because there's so many different parts where you can mess up on. You have to remember all these different sub, um, these sub letters, you know, and then which ones are, you know, squared or whatever it may be that this H has a dash through it. So you really got to make sure you know this equation exactly because if any, if you miss anything here, it completely screws up your answer at the end because there's so many, there's so much stuff going on where you're actually plugging in all the numbers and values that if you make any mistake, it ruins the whole equation and your answer is completely wrong. Now, when it comes to memorization, yes, there are some things you need to memorize, but you get to know the equation because you do so many problems using it over and over and over again. So let me go back to the other page. Now here you have some simpler equations compared to the last one, right? And so um, here, when you use this equation like 50 times, it becomes ingrained in your memory. You might need to remember some things here and there, depending on if there's a lot of different terms, if there's, you know, the you have a square, if it's cubed, you have the sub, um, the sub text right here, right? And so, yes, you might need to use some memory techniques to remember specific parts of it, but starting from, the, <laughs> from scratch and just, hey, let me use a memory technique to memorize all this, it's easy to mix things up and you're not really under, you're not really you know doing what you're supposed to be doing with the equation, and that is understanding it and not just memorizing it. Because you can have a question and you're like, oh, you know, use the Schrodinger's equation. Great, you can recall it perfectly, but if you can't figure out where what goes where and like how you can actually simplify this, then you're pretty much screwed on solving the problem. And so that's why you really do need to practice with the equation that you're using or that you want to remember, you know, a lot of times because over time, it just kind of becomes ingrained in your memory because you use it all the time. Like, oh yeah, you know, you recognize the patterns to like the problem, if it's a word problem or whatever it may be. You're like, oh, for this, for sure, I need this equation. And then you're able to, you know, think of it like, oh yeah, you know, I did so many times. I remember learning, uh, I'm not sure it's here, but the quadratic equation and I didn't use memory techniques back in the day when I was in like you know, 9th, 10th, whenever I used it. And so the way I remembered it is that I um, drilled it so many times because you had these equations that you practiced over and over, or these problems that you keep practicing and practicing and practicing, and eventually it became ingrained. You know, and it was really, really easy to tell the people that didn't do their homework, they struggled recalling the equation because they didn't practice it enough to ingrain it and not use any memory techniques. But for sure, something like this, I would do problems that have that where you have to use this equation, but then I might need to memorize some specific parts, like, you know, it's RE or RP, you know, which could be, I believe maybe it's proton and electron. Don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, so, oh yeah, I think it's a proton and electron. Um, but yeah, so, you know, stuff like that, I might use memory techniques for. So it's just for part of the equation. It's not too, to memorize the whole equation and just go off of, hey, I know this equation, so I must be able to use it now since I can recall the equation perfectly. 
Because quantum mechanics, where, when your equations are getting crazy, as you can just tell, look, look at this. Memorizing them is not the way to go. It's a waste of time. You need to understand what's going on. You need to understand the whole concepts because some of these different terms could be, you know, completely crossed out, which saves you a lot of time. And so, so yeah, so, so that's the point of this video to help you understand that memorizing equations is not the best thing because I have no idea what equations you are memorizing. Yes, if it's simpler, I might memorize them just right off the bat because they're really simple to memorize. But stuff like this, it's completely pointless. And so you have to you know, make the judgment for yourself. What equations are you learning? How do you have to use them? And are you practicing by doing problems from homework or just practice problems in general in order to master the equation and understand hey, in this situation, I could cut out all these different terms. Or, hey, you know, this part right here really messes me up. The rest is perfect. It's really easy to recall, but this messes me up. Then you would want to use memory techniques. So hopefully this video makes sense. Um, let me know, I guess, if you do want a video of how to memorize equations because the method is simple, but it's kind of complicated and hard. Like something like this would take a while to explain how I would do it. Uh, the different parts of it, all the prep work ahead of time, how I'm storing it, what other equations I would need to remember because there's a lot that goes into memorizing an equation of this, um, that has this this much um, complexity to it, okay? So yeah, so um, just let me know, but hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.